this is the Tesla Roadster, and it's purely powered on electricity. It's got a top speed of around 125 miles per hour, and it can do 0 to 60 in, wait for it, 3.9 seconds. That makes it faster than most Ferraris. On a single charge, you can go around 240 miles. Now, admittedly, it's got a price tag of about £90,000, which makes it strictly for the higher-end greenie. Uh, but the government's told us that it's hoping excitement over technology like this will rub off on the rest of us. What strikes me most about Toy Story is very simple, really, that it's the story of the thousands of people that have moved from the countryside here into the Gare district. Life is undoubtedly tough. There's no running water, work is hard to find, and, and for what she's saying, it's actually very lonely. But she wants what everybody else here wants, which is a better future for her children. And that, she feels she's gonna get through education. So however hard it is, she's determined to stay and determined to make something of this situation for herself and for her kids. Right, so let's have a look at what we've managed to get. In just half an hour, we've amassed this array of fake car parts and they're big brands. Look, BMW with the serial number, Mercedes, there's the stamp in there, and this is a brake pad. We were told that they could easily emboss a VW logo on here with a serial number and it would be ready for export. Things are moving fast. Not only have we got the fake parts, we've now been offered a meeting with a man behind the counterfeiting operation. We've got a thousand of these. Mm. It says made in Germany on, on the box, but the actual part is made in Turkey. Yeah. Very clever. What is this? This is a vital It's a vital suspension component. It's a vital suspension component. Yeah. That, that's the name of their old, their old company at the bottom there as well. Where is it? Just car That's car fantastic. Park. So you've got Mercedes on the top, the brand, and car the park, which is the name uh -huh. of the counterfeiters on the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Credit where credit's due. That's what I say. <laughs> so any brand we want, you yeah. can make the hologram. Yeah. Bad news for Mr. Azri and his holograms. Is this difficult? Is it hard? Zor mu bunu yapmak? Yani şöyle söyleyeyim. Şu anda maliyetlerini tabii hatırlamıyorum ama 10-15 cent gibi bir fark yapıyor şu şu öyle bir şey koymak mesela. Okay. And you made this in Turkey? No, from Germany. But really from Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm understanding the language now. Ben ben de kandıracaksınız ben ben de. Laden down with samples, it was time to make our excuses and leave. The offer was clear. If we could supply them with serial numbers, they could get us cheap counterfeit copies of pretty much any part we wanted. So William Gage today singled out four soldiers for severe criticism, one corporal and three officers. Uh, he went on to say that uh, amongst the soldiers that were guarding the detainees, including Bahamusa, there was a culture of casual violence. But crucially, he went on to say that within one QLR as a whole, there was not an ingrained uh, culture of systematic violence. That's important because the lawyers who represent the family of Baha Musa and the other detainees have made that a consistent allegation. Unless action is taken quickly, vulnerable children will continue to be sold into domestic slavery, the sex trade, or for illegal adoption. What we've seen in this investigation is deeply disturbing. But the fact is, this is the economics of poverty in Bulgaria, in which people are the commodities and serious organized criminals make the profits. You're a professional counterfeiter, aren't you? Do you not want to lay claim to this? I mean, the experts say it's actually a very, very good copy. It looks good. Yeah? Did you make it? No, you did. I mean, you're the professional counterfeiter, aren't you? Where are you heading to now, Siege? I'm going to see my girlfriend. Yeah? Because I was thinking, if you were thinking of leaving the country, yeah. well, you could get yourself a fake passport. If you don't mind that, that's what I like to do. That's pleasant. Yeah. You use a computer to make fake motoring documents, don't you? And you supply those documents to criminals. Are you aware of that? I don't do that. I think you've got one person. I think it's them guys in there that's doing it. Are you aware of the consequences of supplying fake do documents like to criminals, Suge? I don't do things like that. You don't do things like that? Nah. 
We've got you on tape, mate. All right, well, good luck to you. It was there at the very beginning of the London leg of the Olympic torch uh, over at Greenwich, then the London Eye. Now, of course, uh, St Paul's absolutely breathtaking, where thousands of people, as you say, have stopped to line the streets. We're expecting that to happen here on the other side of the uh, Millennium Bridge. Worth mentioning, actually, that an Olympian, uh, Ade Adepitan, who, of course, uh, won a, a bronze medal with his basketball team in 2004. Let me take you to the extraordinary scenes here outside Westminster Abbey. These are some of the tens of thousands of people who are coming down to London today. We're expecting around 600,000. This is the road that takes you down towards Westminster Abbey on my left-hand side. Off in the distance, you can see the West Door. That's where the royal family will be entering uh, to take their part in the ceremony. This is the North Door. This is where the non-royal guests will be. So the likes of Posh and Bex, Joss Stone, uh, famously Kate Middleton's family news agent and butcher. Let me show you this. This is Parliament uh, Square behind, of course, iconic Big Bang. And just look at these crowds. They've been lining up, some of them, since uh, last night. Everybody's cheering. There's a really good sense of celebration and, and a real commitment to being here and sharing in this very historic moment. Let me take you over to some people I've been talking to this morning. <laughs> Need I say more, really? Now, you can actually pick up a bit of that good luck, can't you? Well, it is believed that if you touch the sweat of the winner, winner wrestler or a winner horse at the races, you can get some of it. You'll be very lucky. So if I go up to the winner of the wrestling competition, a big, muscly, sweaty man, and touch him, there's not going to be a problem. But there's no time. It's a final chance to ponder the country I've discovered on my journey here. In many senses, modern Mongolia has come of age. 21 years of democracy and this country is confidently on the move. Be it the weather, people, sports or politics, this country is going forward. No doubt there are big challenges ahead, but the fact is people here relish competition. And sportsmen like Bedrogan prove that they can take on the world and win.